Amazing Grace? That saved a wretch like me. Hello and welcome to the Manna to Live By. One day, at a time, five-minute devotionals. Today is June 12th. Today's reading is from 1 Peter 5.10. The God of all grace who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. The grace of God is his favor and acceptance to those who do not deserve it and who in fact deserve the very opposite, but who trust Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Four of the better known verses on grace are these. One, the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. John 1 17. Two, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, Romans 3:24. 3, 3. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that you through his poverty might become rich. 2 Corinthians 8-9. 4. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God not of works, lest anyone should boast. Ephesians 2 to 8 and 9. Some extol God's grace as the chief of all his virtues. Samuel Davis, for instance, wrote, Great God of wonders, all your ways, display your attributes divine, but the bright glories of your grace above your other wonders shine. Who is a pardoning God like you? or who is grace so rich and free. But, who can say that one of God's attributes is greater than another? God has always been a God of grace in the Old Testament as well as in the New. But that aspect of his character was revealed in a new and arresting way with the coming of Christ. Once we come to understand something of the grace of God, we become worshipers forever. We ask ourselves, why should he have chosen me? Why should the Lord Jesus have shed his life's blood for one so unworthy? Why should God not only save me from hell but bless me with all spiritual blessings in the heavenlies now and destined me to spend eternity with him in heaven? No wonder we sing of the amazing grace that saves such wretches then too God wants his grace to be reproduced in our own lives and to flow through us to others. He wants us to be gracious in our dealings with others. Our speech should be always with grace seasoned with salt, Colossians 4 6. We should impoverish ourselves that others might be enriched, 2 Corinthians 8-9. We should grant favor and acceptance to the unworthy and the unlovely. Let's pray. Lord, God of all grace, I thank you for the amazing grace that found and saved a wretched person like me. I pray, Lord, fact I may be granted the strength to reproduce that grace in my life and then to flow through me to others. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amazing Grace? That saved a wretch like me. Today's Manna, originally written by William MacDonald. Adapted and developed as Manna to Live By, 5-Minute Devotionals for You Too. By John Benjamin. For previous day's Manna, please click the channel link given in the description box below. Thank you, and to God be the glory.